Hello everyone and welcome back to Factorio. I am Cat, and today uh, I've made a promise that I was gonna launch a rocket today and I don't know if I can make it but one way or another we're gonna launch something today and that will have to do. It'll probably be a rocket but whether it's an actual rocket or a rocket of the mind I don't know yet. So the good news is we do have uh, the rocket being built that's coming through. The bad news is we are lacking some steel but we can hopefully fix that a little bit by making another one of these bad boys. And hopefully that will uh, make things a bit easier for us. That's the intent anyway. Because right now I just don't think we have the steel for what we need to do. That's alright, we'll get that today. That'll be resolved very soon. Um, and yeah, I'm a little bit anxious, there's a lot of work to be done. I hadn't considered a lot of things, such as a spacesuit. Just did not consider a spacesuit. Uh, I didn't consider a... Just what I'm going to take up in the rocket, that wasn't considered at all. So we do need to consider that as well. Uh, just a lot of things weren't really into full consideration, which I've got to do today. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Things such as, oh, I guess I got to, but if I'm taking a rocket up there, I probably should take something in the rocket, huh? I know, it sounds really obvious when you think about it, but I didn't. Which is okay, we'll get there. But, yeah, that's where we're at right now. And if we can maybe just move this up just a... No, that's that's bad. We can move that up just a bit. The whole plan is right now I just want to get consistent steel. Because if I can get consistent steel, uh, this will be a little bit easier for us. And we picked up a bit of more vulcanite, which is annoying, but that's fine. And we can probably put that there somewhere. Okay. So this will now output a few more things, a few more iron, when the Vulcanite runs out. Which, as we know, happens all too regularly. But that'll work itself out. So that way we just got a little bit more iron coming through and a little bit more steel. And that way we shouldn't have a problem when Vulcanite inevitably runs out again and again and again. Okay, well that means that iron should be a little bit more consistent as well. Which is good. Okay, so what do we need to do today? Well, we've built one cargo landing pad and that's awesome. And I'm going to put that down over here for now. Uh, but what we do need to do is we need to start thinking about liquids. Now, I was prepared for this and I was writing down a bit of a shopping list today. Here it is. Uh, these are the things that I think I need to take into space. Now, I guarantee I've missed something absolutely critical, but for now, it's what I got on the shopping list. Number one on the shop... Oh, that was a little bit more overzealous than I wanted it to be. Some of the things on the shopping list are pretty obvious. You're going to need inserters. You're going to need uh, iron, plastic, copper, steel, you know, all the basic stuff. Some things I hadn't considered is the fact that I can't use my standard... Uh, Oh, I didn't consider power poles. Hmm. So, some of the things I didn't consider is I'm going to need a lot of liquids. So, we're going to do a new train. Uh, and that train might actually have to sit up here. Because I need it to be able to drop off and pick up. So, for now, what we can do is have this come out into here. This is not a train stop so much as just a way for trains to loop around. <laughs> Excuse me. So the plan is we're going to use this area here for our liquids. And we're also going to need to get steel to make a lot of barrels because we're going to need to take a lot of things, a lot of liquids into space such as water, lubricant, oils of all type, uh, acid. There's, there's a few things we need to take up. So that's going to be our little train stop. It's going to be adorable. Uh, thankfully we don't need to take train stations or train 
uh, anything's up just yet because quite frankly there's just none available. So I guess it's not the best, but it's not the worst. And I'm going to take the steel here because why the heck not? We need a train, two cargo wagons. You know what, everything else takes two cargo wagons. Why wouldn't that? And while we're here, let's split off some steel so we can start making some barrels. Nothing's going to happen until we start making barrels. Okay. I'm probably the other way. Cool. Take those circuits. Why not? They're mine. So we're going to have three train stations uh, that are going to be loading up this rocket. Uh, and we're going to have them all coming down into the central hub, which is where we've currently got everything set up now. For now, this is going to be Barrel City. So we're going to make barrels. Steel barrels. Okay. I don't know why I did it quite like that, but that's all right. I don't quite know how many boxes of inserters I need. I'm going to prepare two. Boxes of inserters? That's not even what I'm building here. Okay. One more over, perhaps. Now, the hope is this will be enough... Uh, I'm noticing I'm not seeing any steel at the moment. It's hopefully coming. Uh, I was wrong. It's not coming. Okay, that's cool. We've got steel now. So we're going to make a lot of barrels. And this is going to be a little bit of a barrel economy. Anything going between worlds has to be shipped in a barrel. Just like a person. Because of course when you ship a person, you got to ship them in barrels as well. Obviously. Okay, and our first barrels are coming out. Awesome. So, what do we need? Well, we need barrels of fun. Oh. So, we're going to need light oil barrels. Let's just start with the oils. Light oil, yes. We're going to need heavy oil, probably. We're going to need petroleum gas, definitely. Do we need crude oil? That's a valid question I had not considered. Uh... Cud oil, that's different thing altogether. Crude oil is our flamethrower ammo, petroleum gas, me, 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 me. No, okay, we don't need crude oil. That's good to know. And we're going to need lubricant, of course. Probably quite a bit of lubricant, but that's all right. And we're going to need water. That's the main things we're going to need. And water can be at the end, because water is actually the easiest one to fill. Contaminated water? N no. So, what do we start with? Well, let's start from the left and go... Well, start from the right, rather, and uh, go from there. And then all these barrels are going to take up here, and they're going to fill up whatever the hell I've got going on up there. So, heavy oil lives in here which should be easy enough to bring up yep here we go and if we just pop that in there we will be good okay so that's heavy oil sorted out next is light oil that one should be easy because we're already kind of shipping light oil in a place Now, I don't know if there's going to be enough barrels, but it should be fine. We've got the liquids. We'll sort it out from there. And finally, petroleum gas, the most useful of the oils, of the oil family. Because it makes so much useful stuff, such as plastics and lubricant and uh, sulfur? It makes sulfur, yeah. Now, of course, we may need to create more of these later when we actually find out what we need more of but right now the whole goal is just to have it and lubric oh you know what we didn't have sulfuric acid gotta have sulfuric acid yep gotta have sulfuric acid 
Oh, that one could be acid then. So lubricant and sulfuric acid, and then we should be good to get these barrels on their riggedy way. So I don't know if we're going to get into space in any meaningful way. We might just launch into space today and see what we're missing. But I promise by the end of this episode, space will occur. That is a Cephic Cat promise. These are not redeemable for damn near anything, but you know, nice that I can make a promise. <laughs> but we are launching into space, I promise you that. But now it's really suspect now, isn't it? Because now I've been questioning it. Is it even a real promise? Am I just getting everyone's hopes up? Uh, I honestly can't answer that question. I hope I'm not lying. I'm not lying by intention in any case. Hmm. I'm very suspicious of myself right now, which is never a good place to be. Yeah. Pandora's told me to stop being suspicious. Uh... But, whether that's possible or not, who knows. Okay, and that's, this has been really tidy pipe work, very proud of that. Okay. Out, and in. Now for now I don't know exactly how many of these I'm going to need, so what we're going to do is we're going to put them in requester chests. It's a bit weird that we're doing requester chests, I know we've never done these before, but I feel, sorry, not request chests, provider chests. We've never done these before, but I feel like this is going to be a best idea, just in case we need to do it later. And we do not want these absolutely full, maybe just that full. And we still don't have water. Glad we figured that one out before it became a problem. But of course, water is easy, because water is just water. Like, there's no secret trick with water. Like, you just get it out of the, the ground. Well, you don't actually get it out of the ground. You get it out of the green lake. Someone polluted the lake. I don't know who did it, but whoever did it, I bet you they feel ashamed of themselves right now. I don't feel ashamed of myself at all. Okay, and a water barrel. Uh, just regular water, no cosmic water today. Okay. And we'll put a row report down. Not really for any particular reason, but maybe it'll be needed later. So this is a preparation for maybe we do need this. I don't know if we will. I don't really want to rely on bots, as I've said before. But now the machines are filling up Barrels. And it occurs to me, we may be making barrels too slowly. That's okay. We prepared for this eventuality. Now we're making faster barrels. So the idea is, these are all on a circuit, and so maybe we can do something with that, I don't know. And now the good news is there is exactly six liquids. So because there's exactly six, we can do that in three belts. If we do that, there we go. So that gets up a lot of things that we need. Now this, of course, doesn't need to exist anymore, so we can probably bust down all of this. Means I probably could have built this closer, but that's alright, we didn't. And meanwhile, while we're doing all this, of course, the rocket is still continuing to be built. So, this is fine. It needs to be done anyway. And occasionally the base is under attack, but I'm not too worried about that. And we need a train station, as we've had this discussion before. We can go here, and this is going to be hmm. uh, liquids. Liquid. Oh, we'll just have a barrel pick. We may have a barrel drop later, but I don't know. 
And of course we need a train. And we of course need a carriage. Now we've left room for a second carriage should it be required in the future. For now this should be fine. And I can't help but notice uh, we got a lot of some barrels and not others. It means we're probably not making enough barrels. Okay, that's fine. We'll make more barrels over here. Maybe we should just make all the barrels over there. Yeah, let's make all the barrels in a place where we can actually get some serious barrelage going. Uh, two meteors destroyed. Always happy to see that. As long as meteors are not crushing my face, I am happy. I am simple man. Meteors don't crush my face, I'm happy. Let's go eight. Eight is probably definitely too many. But of course, we are going to need barrels a lot, so... I don't know if you can send up empty barrels. I guess you could send out up water barrels and then just throw them away. <laughs> it's a bit of a waste, but... Okay, and that is the barrel situation more or less sorted out. Aside from exactly how many things we want. Uh, that might be another couple of minutes. And now I think the plan is just make the barrels and load up stuff and we'll work it out from there. Okay, so barrels sorted. We've got liquid bus coming. Uh... Probably need some fuel for that. Give it rocket fuel. What's the worst that could happen? I'm sure I could figure that out real quick, actually. What is the worst that could happen? Uh, boop, boop. We are not going to give it rocket fuel. We're actually going to fuel it properly. I know. How sad is that? Fueling a train properly. Disappointing. Okay, good. And we are out of inserters, but that's okay. I really don't know what the configuration of things that we need are, but shouldn't really be too much of a problem, I hope. I guess we'll find out, though. The point is, the train has a thing. So that's our liquids, sort of. Now, steel, copper, iron, plastic, glass, those are all things that are actually pretty simple to get into here. So what I do want to have is some warehouses. Maybe not strong boxes, or maybe not warehouses rather, but say strong house, storm houses? Storm houses! Heck yeah, that's not what I meant to say, but I want to know more about a storm house. Uh, and concrete. Now, I don't think we need concrete for space, so that's one less thing to worry about. Oh, we need to worry about coal as well, so that way we keep making plastic. Uh, oh, perhaps provider storehouses, perhaps. They're probably going to be one of your requesters, honestly. That's all right. Uh, let's go fix up coal, because I think we need to just divvy it up a little bit better, because I think we're coming out one side, which is not the best. And that should fix that up a little bit as well, which is good. I'm pleased with that result. That's probably going to cut off all power to that. Yeah. Start coming a mile away, did I? I did. Um, but yeah, this coal is going to run out very soon, especially now that I'm splitting it correctly. But that's okay. We've got another coal mine that has been tapped. It just needs to be connected to a train network and work from there. Uh, I was thinking a little bit about the coronal corona mass ejection thing. Uh, of course, that's going to be really terrifying when that happens. 
I was trying to think of how the heck I could have enough power for that. One idea would be the idea I had originally, which was a lot of solar panels, but of course, what if it happens at night? Now, I don't know if that's possible. It makes sense it would happen during the day, because how would that happen at night? But I'd really prefer not to get that one wrong. So I was thinking I could just do steam batteries and have a lot of uh, turbines ready. That'll do the job. The only downside to... Am I running out of petroleum? Yes. Kind of have, yeah. Probably because it's putting it all into here. Yeah, because each one of these is 50 times 10, so each one of these is 500. It's not that much. The heck, guys, are you just not making petroleum fast enough? Probably the problem. But yeah, steam engine, uh, steam tanks might be the best way to do it because each tank holds about two gigawatts of power and for the fun times of explosions I'm gonna need 182 gigajoules of power so I will need about 90 or so 91 I suppose uh, and then having them all powering at the same time I don't think it's going to be as bad as I think because it's only two gigajoules at peak. Uh, but you don't want to have not enough. I've been told that it's pretty bad. Okay, so we've done that. Another thing I'd like to do is build my spacesuit, which is actually pretty easy. Heat shielding, rock control units, and glass. Okay. There's heat shields, RCUs, which I kept around here somewhere, probably. I think RCUs were, were delayed on building because not enough batteries. Can we make more batteries? We can probably make more batteries, surely. Yeah, we could. Let's do that. Um, and, ooh, that is a bit of a tricky place. That part's easy. Hmm. Maybe if we split them a little bit, it'll be a little bit easier to work with. So let's cut that one, get that one down, out one. Then we've got a little bit of space, so we can do that. There we go. That'll give us a few more batteries. It does seem like RCUs are being slowed down primarily by the lack of batteries. Which is not great. Okay, so it's really all hands on space right now. And we're going to get to space, and I'm very excited about it, but we just got to keep working. We are under attack. Yeah, they keep attacking there, and that keeps really not being a great place for it. I really should get flamethrowers in there, but I don't know when I'll be able to do that. Okay, so that's more uh, batteries. It doubles my production of batteries, which is still kind of low. I really want to make these multi-spectral mirrors. That's really what my biggest goal is. Um, so when we go into space, if I can come back with some multi-spectral mirrors, well, sorry, some better things. What are they called? I don't know. If I can come back with better solar panels, I'll be pretty happy with that. That's my goal. Look at this space trip. And to start the research of space. Now, for this, I would like to start making some landfill. And this is going to be very relevant very soon. Possibly so soon that I probably should have started this a while ago. But that's okay. We're here now. Yeah, it's probably a little bit late to start doing this, but that's all right. Doesn't matter. Any landfill I make is something.
Okay. So hopefully that makes a lot of landfill, but I really doubt that's going to make enough in the time frame that I need it. Uh, we also do want to continue building rocket fuel, not rocket fuel, uh, processed fuel, because we're going to need that very soon. If I just chuck the wood in there. Take the processed fuel, because we need to make sure we are always well fueled. Uh, 12 hours, I am aware. Do not worry about that, sirs. I am well aware of this danger and the fear that is befalling me. Should be alright. I hope. Could have put the stone elsewhere, but didn't. Uh, that's all looking good. That all looks like it's tidied up well. And petroleum gas is doing all right now as well. So, okay, cool. That's what we wanted to see. Uh, turrets are engaged with the enemy. That's fine. I kind of expect that usually. Uh, what else do we need? Well, we need to worry about science at some point. Hmm, yes, science. But I think what I'm going to do is when I have the landing pad, I'm going to have bots just deliver the things where they need to go. That's not relevant right now, but it is relevant. Uh, and what we do want to do is we want to grab a stack of solar panels, which are in a very easy to remember place that I would never lose. Here we go. 500 solar panels is probably too many for what I want to send to space. So I'm doing it anyway. Because if you don't have power in space, what are you doing? So we've got 10 out of 500 things in the rocket. Heck yes. Now we were building a space suit. Or a thruster suit as it's officially known as. So glass and rock control units. Ah, uh, we went off to go make batteries because we needed them. So we need 10 RCUs. I almost wonder if I should stop making the satellite rockets right now. Just for a bit. Never mind, it's about to launch anyway. Well, Godspeed, good sirs. Give me something good. I'm praying for a good planet. Something that makes me go, ooh, okay. That's the sound I want to make. Uh, I expect to be disappointed. Or to make, to make it sound like it's, ah, okay. So we've discovered a new planet. It's Kunkri. It's probably made out of concrete. Ah, oh, that sounds like it's going to be a stone planet. Uh, if I call it that. Okay, one more of these and I will be happy for now. Okay, let's look at Kunkri. It is a planet. It is waterless. It is very coal rich. Uh, it has some threat, which means some biters. It is a coal planet. Australia, in other words. And it is just a sandy boy. No Australia. But. Oh god, it is a dull looking planet. Alright, well that's the planet for you. Good to see it. I think I'm done with my Australia jokes today. I don't want to be too mean to Australia, it'll hurt their feelings. I know Australians have feelings, it surprises me too. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, okay. Actually no, we will do that. We will build a extra get pack to do this. And what else do we need? So that is space suit. I need to worry about how I'm going to breathe in space. Uh, so now I need to worry about is the rocket ready yet? It is not, I'm afraid. It is getting there. Uh, I'm just building things that the rocket's going to need. So we have got our liquids that are more or less ready to be delivered. We are 68% of the way to the rocket. We're going to have liquids. We're going to have... It's fueled up. We don't have a space capsule yet. Uh, but it should be pretty good. I'm going to land. That's going to reset my construction, but that's fine. 
Um, what was the next thing I needed? I needed uh, to be able to breathe in space. I've heard that's a good thing. What are they called? Uh, life support? Life support, there we go. So I need secure containers or canisters which require heat shield and glass, copper plates, steel plates, and plastic bars. Honestly, I can probably make those by hand. Probably don't need to have a facility for those. Will six be enough? Uh, you know what? I don't feel good about six. Let's build ten. What am I lacking? Uh, glass, that's alright. Yes, yeah, six containers seems okay, but if I had ten, I would feel more secure. And steel. And then, of course, I do need to put stuff in them that means they're actually useful. But that's the next step. Am I also making scrap? Yeah. Don't know what I'm going to do with scrap. Uh, so, we need to now make... Oh cool, we can make mid-pack twos out of them. Don't really care. You can make a bunch of cool stuff out of them though. Uh, so we need ten of these. That's easy enough. That need to be made in a particular thing. It needs to be made in a life support facility. Okay. That's fine. We've got one of those digging around somewhere. Wow, I actually thought I had one of those. I must have put it in a box. Okay, well, all my boxes are over here. Uh, this does not seem to be searchable. Which is exciting. Do I not have a life support facility in here? Surely I would. Oh, yeah, you know, I've got a bunch of wood. I can. I know where the wood goes, so we can put the wood away. I know we built one. I've just put it somewhere, and I'll never find it again. That's uh, highly disappointing. Okay, well, I guess we're building another one then. Uh, it's not much. It's just six big electric motors and. <laughs> 40 low density structures. Wonderful. That last bit's actually painful. Because low densities, I have a shortage of. That's alright. Big LE motors, those are easy. I'm just going to take all of them because I think I'm just going to chuck those in there for a moment. Um, okay. So now we just need the, nope, those are rail tracks. That's completely different from these. I just do not have enough of, that's for certain. I need what, 30 of these? Ridiculous number, I don't have 30 of these. I have close to a 30 of these. I am lacking things to make those. What am I lacking? plastics at the moment. I'm always lacking something. That's the general rule of this, it seems. Uh, why is plastics low? Petroleum? Petroleum. Interesting. I wonder if part of that's because I was making so much rocket fuel. It does look like rocket fuel stopped as well. It's because this is actually no longer backed up. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we could make more petroleum refineries. You know, real harm in that. We clearly always need it. I've got plenty of oil. So why not? Oil refineries, two more of those would help. Meanwhile, I may just... Uh, This is the one for... Yeah, just cut that for now. Uh, I only have one... I'm lacking a life support thing. Uh, container, rather. I was making enough of those. 
secure. Okay, well now I will be. And this scrap will be worked on at some point, but I don't really have a plan for it yet. So for now it goes in the crap box. Oh, the scrap box! Got him. There's the joke. It's the scrap box. Where the scrap goes. I lost my scrap. There it is. Okay, so let's put those oil refineries down just so we can continue refining the oils. The delicious and tasty oils. Because they are delicious and tasty. Without a freaking doubt. Oop. And oop. And this one could be a little bit more tricky. But there you go. More petroleum coming through. We need a. Uh, is that even connected to anything? No. No, it's not. <laughs> nice. Okay, and petroleum. Spin that around, huh? This is an absolute cluster of just trying to put things in slots they really don't fit. And we'll just do one little bit of land there, and there we go. Fixed it. So that gives me three more petroleum sources. And those petroleum numbers should be bucking right up. And look at that, they are kind of going up. That'll do! Uh, okay. So by now, I would anticipate that my low-density structures should have backed up enough, and we should have some to take. Uh, yep, there we go. That's 30 of them. It's not 30 of them. It's not even close. How many more do we need? We need... Well, we needed more than 30 anyway, so there you go. What if we could steal them from here? There you go. That was way easier. Oh, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Theft. Theft. Yes! Rocket fuel too, actually. I think I need that. No. Do I need rocket fuel? I feel like the answer is yes, I do. No. Oh, I do, actually. I do need solid rocket fuel. Well, there we go. We'll take some of that. That needs to go on the rocket as well. So we're just going to ch chuck the solid rocket fuel on the rocket now. There you go. Simple as you like. One life support facility could I could build like oh my goodness no 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 stop stop I found it it's there <sighs> okay well that's fine we found it in the end that's what matters oh it needs power good so that's going to build my empty life support canisters and from there I'll be able to breathe in space once I put oxygen stuff in them I guess. Now another thing I'd like to do real quick is just to stand over here. And how many different... 20 and that is... 30. Okay, so that will... Okay, so I can fly in this, but it's a bit slow. Uh, life support efficiency... exists. Planet no support required, so what we're going to do is we're going to require this whenever we go to a new planet. And we're going to require it in space. Of course, at some point we won't even be using the old one because I understand these thruster suits, at about this point, it's on par with what I've got now. So once I've researched the first material of Science Pack 1, which who knows how long that's going to be, 
uh, we will be never needing the old one again. We can fly around in perpetuity. Well, you know what I mean. Close enough. So what's the next thing I need? I need coal and water. Well, coal I usually carry around in abundance, right? I do. <laughs> I'm proud that I'm messing this up. Okay, so two more of these and then we should be good. Meanwhile, this is at a number. This is at 70%. Okay, good. Now we want to repair this. Oh, good advice. Thank you very much. I will do that. I mean, I'll see how long they last first, and then if they don't last very long, then we'll do that. If they last for ages, then it should be fine. I really, at this point, only need them to last for, like, probably an hour. Maybe two. I don't really know. I, don't, I think I'm going to go into space completely unprepared right now. That's what I'm anticipating. So, we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll do what we can to not die in space. Which I think is a common response. Yeah, that's... Oh, you know what? I just remember this station is wrong. This station is called Ojokamon. It should actually be called Weapon Drop. So... Okay, so... Let's put the thruster suit back on. And let's take these. Now, that'll give me 16 minutes. Sixteen minutes is not long. I kind of expect it to last a little bit longer in space. Okay, so if I put another one of these in there, then it should be double, hopefully. Oh. Really? It's gonna be made in one of these. Okay. Well, let's just chuck the things in there and let's see. Oh, wait. If I already... Am I breathing through it already? That's a mistake. Oh, don't worry. We found another mistake to make right now. Uh, and did you just... You throw my suit onto the ground? You did. Of course you did. Why wouldn't you? Bye. It's fine. I need to pick up the stuff anyway. Okay, so we just made four of them by mistake. That's cool. I mean, you never hurts to have more, I suppose. Yeah, but it's already dirtied one of them. That's why I'm like, oh man, it already used it. So we're going to clean that. Okay. So let's put that back on the ground. I think it's actually really easy to clean them, though, so it's probably fine. Uh, okay. It's just kind of frustrating, so... So, let's just clean it. And we are going to put on the thruster suit again, just to see what the difference is. And I figure out how to do this. Okay. So. I'm going to come over here, so if we drop everything on the ground again, it's not a big deal. At the moment, it's 50, uh, each one is about 1 minute 40. If we chuck in some of these, that leaves us with an hour and 15 minutes in space. That's workable. I could live with that. I do need to put some other things in there, of course, but an hour and 15 minutes in space should be enough for... Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, and that's not holding anything, no. Okay. 
Okay. So we're just going to leave that there. So we now can get into space. We can breathe. We can fly. We've got solar panels. We need stuff. We've got liquids. They can come in. How many barrels of each? If we do 100 barrels of each, that is... Let's do, let's say, a full tank of each. So a full tank of each is 2,500. No, it's 25,000. Oof. Hang on. That might be too much. Uh, calculator. 25,000. Divide by 50. That's 500. That's 50. No, that's 50 stacks of every liquid. No, that's too much. Okay. Uh... 10 stacks of each. 10 stacks of each we'll have to do. On the basis that I don't care. The plan here is this is going to be where the trains are going to come in to drop things off. And hopefully that'll help. And then of course the trains need to leave again, but they can leave through a series of tubes, like a big truck. Uh, that one's unlikely to be used quite as much, so we can use probably... Oh wait, it goes out that way. Okay, fine. Oh, in fact, that's perfect. Perfect. So that means the trains can get in. They can deliver their dark goods. And then they can leave again. Once they've delivered their dark goods. Only once they've delivered their dark goods. Once they've... Uh, wished a prayer to whatever gods they serve. Dark or otherwise. Probably not dark. I, I, yeah. I don't know. I'm not judging. They're trains. I think trains are naturally drawn towards the dark hearts. I don't think that's a surprise. I mean, think about it. How many evil train movies are there? Millions. Okay, so this is going to be called Barrel Drop. And that is going to need to... I think we've only got one carriage there at the moment, don't we? We do. So what we're going to do for now is... Well, actually, if it's six, why have we done them on, like, that, when we could have just done each one with its own one and its own inserter? The questions that we should have been asking to begin with. Hmm. Anyway. The point is, at this point, we can drop everything off, and we will be having these all... What, can this be put into... Yes, it can, and it is currently reading that. That's good news. Are we building rocket pieces right now? Or Oh, no, we're not, because someone jammed this entire bloody contraption up. Why would anyone do that? What are they, a monster? A little bit. Okay. Lots of train parts coming. Uh, train? Rocket parts coming through now. So we are going to probably have the bus sort of concluding here, and then we'll figure out where to go from that. This is kind of the end of the bus. From here we... Oh, that's a decent sized attack. Unfortunately, flamethrowers just really murder them. For an attack that big, that's actually kind of distressing for the aliens. I hope they're okay. No, I don't. I don't give a shit about them. Alright, so. Put some lights. Oh, 
what else? Do we, you know what? We're going to put some modules down here. I don't think we need too many because not too many things in space work in modules, but we'll put a stack of them anyway for... The only thing it takes modules is the science. So only productivity modules are really required. Keep that simple. Uh, so we've got our liquids ready. Now what we want to do is have another train that comes from, say, here. Now this is where I wanted the land, because I want the land to come through here and down. And this train is going to be just designed to bury the sciences. Uh, mostly the sciences, actually, but maybe some other stuff. Stuff that's not on the belt. So sciences, big electric motors, maybe bots. Batteries are still disappointing. Yeah, well, let's, let's get more batteries going, actually, while I'm thinking about it. Make more of these, shall we, as well? Ah, steel plates. Okay, no worries. Steel plates are easy to find. We're under attack. Yeah, that corner is just a right pain. It's usually holding its own, though. And that's right, I want to separate these because it's just a bit easier to work with. Unless, of course, you have all the sulfuric acid coming in the back, and then it doesn't really matter, does it? Smart plays. And there's just a tree. The dry, hairy tree. Get out of here, you dry, hairy tree. If I wanted your opinion, I would have asked for it. A dry, hairy tree. <laughs> Who names these things, honestly? Uh, yep, so that's all making batteries. That's pretty good. Probably make a couple more. Yeah, if we do this, we could probably set up two more. And it's good to just have a few more batteries coming out. Because clearly I need them. Uh, also, it appears that I broke this entire system. How did I do that? It's supposed to be like that, I think. That's fine. You know what? Any batteries I take can just go into the rocket. I think I want batteries in the rocket anyway. That's probably been broken for a while, who knows. Uh, okay, so. I want to build some of these, which I can just pick up now, I suppose. I don't want too many space assembly machines, because I do know the main thing is space manufactories. Manufactories? I don't know. So we want the sciences, which are... Oh, the sciences are up here. In fact, if the sciences are up here, it may actually just be easier to put them on a train over here. Maybe a way easier idea. We just have a science train. Science train also sounds rad. We will, of course, be rigging all these up with circuits in the near future, but right now I'm trying to keep a promise of launching a rocket. And how are we doing? We are ha at least halfway through the time we've got today. Shoot. Maybe I can't keep my promise. That'd be disappointing. Uh, okay, so science is the next that I need to worry about. And then I need to get a train that just gets some, you know, regular stuff through. Now, the good news is we can just take these on a cross-country trip. 
these, we can almost do the exact same thing. It's almost the exact same cross-country trip, honestly. And then the other last one is blues and yellows, which their cross-country trip is going to have to be different. I'm sorry. They're going to have to go like this. Also, we do seem to be out of yellows right now, but that's okay. I say that on the basis that I literally have no choice. It has to be okay. Okay, so that's going to get my sciences together. Uh, yeah, that last one's going to be a pain. That's alright, we'll figure out this, how to spaghetti that one across later. Oops. That doesn't seem to be connected to anything, and it definitely wasn't. I can tell because nothing broke when I did that. That's the way you find out when things are good. Just pull them apart. Maybe they won't die. Said like a true bug overlord who does not understand how humanity works. It, it's crying is louder when I pull it apart. Why? Is it weak? So it's not a sushi belt, obviously. I'm not really a big fan of sushi belts. Just about getting everything up. And again, this isn't required. It's just not. So please remove yourself, sir. And once we get into space, I mean, we can just use the cool space science and... Uh, we, well, the space labs, and we never need to worry about these labs again. So, I guess this is what we had to do no matter what anyway. So, space lab. It's space lab. Anyway, don't know why that excited me. It did excite me, but I don't know why. We're going to need to get some multi-cylinder engines. Yeah, I really don't think we're actually getting to space today, despite my best efforts. Uh, locomotive. We just need steel. Okay, well, steel all over the place is fine. Don't worry about steel. Let me worry about steel. Okay, get rid of these trees, because trees are gross. All my friends hate trees. That's not true. Some of my friends actually like trees. I don't know what's wrong with them. Oh, speaking of trees, there's a train. Don't know why that's speaking of trees, but there was a train. Uh, are we missing drones still? Maybe. All right. The good news is that gets most of it sorted. Yeah, well, thank you for the wood. Oh, those drones are probably what I'm looking Where are you guys off to? Oh, I'd pull those apart. That's cool. Carry on. As you were. I should know better than to question drones. And finally, the blue and yellow science. I don't want to say gold science. I'm too used to gold science being like a amalgamation of other sciences in uh, C block. It was like an amalgamation of red, greens, blues, and I want to say weapon science, but I could be wrong. I want to say weapon science though. Maybe it's just because I really just like to say weapon science. A 
appears I've cut the power to something that may have needed it. But we don't need barrels right now. Okay, and that's going to be called Science Pick. So that's going to be delivering all my sciences to the spaceship, in theory. It's the theory I'm going to run with. Now, I want these to be probably just regular stack insert, uh, filter inserters. Just three of them. I think I want these base like to read what they actually need and then carry that signal through. And the same thing with actually these ones. Now that I've learned the difference between filter inserters and stack insert of uh, filter stack inserters, I know why I need them. Okay. So they're not gonna load up super quick, but quite frankly, I don't think I'm gonna launch the rockets that super quick either. So that's okay. Um, you know what, we will actually start rigging this up, and we're going to need a constant combiner, and we're going to need a arithmetic combiner as well, which I think we actually carry those these days. We don't. Oh, never mind then. Ignore me. So for now, now it doesn't matter too much. For now we could probably just take everything we've got and chuck them in a box and call it a day. But later we will actually do this. Uh, we want some storehouses. Yep, sure. This will be much tidier once we actually have the signals going, but there's no reason to really worry too much about that now when we don't have the tech. We'll get there though. The first few launches are going to be a little bit ramshackle, but it's going to get tidier. So for now, what I'd like to do is just start loading. So actually, let's go stack inserters. Yep, and start loading please. Hmm, I hadn't quite considered the fact that it's trying to pull all the science from forever. And that has already actually filled itself up. Okay, cool. Uh, stack filter inserters. <laughs> or we could actually just be smarter about and have six different li uh, lanes. For now, it's probably fine. Barrel drop. Well, empty, just go, we'll figure it out. Uh, science pick, full, probably not happening. Empty, see what you can do. So I was just gonna pull up as much science as it bloody well can and uh, we'll see where we go. And now it's picking up other colors, great. Again, this is the ramshackle part. We will get to a much tidier place very soon. Uh, that's probably going to be second launch where we get the signals going. This isn't the launch for that, though. This is the launch about just getting shit together. Uh, now, red, green, blue are the main colors we needed, I believe. Yes, there are other colors that would be nice, but red, green, blue is the main ones. So we'll let them collect all the blues. And then that might be all the science we need for now. That might be too much science, in fact, but that's fine. You know what they say, you can never have too much science. 
You absolutely can't have too much science. We don't need that much purple, that's for sure. Okay, for that we're going to go to science drop and then we're going to switch into manual control. Can't help but notice we're not moving. Uh, why did you decide to go that way? Why? Oh, because you have no other way to leave. Okay, well that's, that's a valid problem, I suppose. Okay, so we're just going to back that ass up. And then back that ass up. This one does need to be dealt with better because we've got a lot of light oil, water, and lubricant, but nothing else. Good number of stacks, though. Uh, I'm not going to send the science train back there again today, which also this means, in theory, all my science is complete here, and I should never be doing science on Navis, Novice again, which is actually kind of sad. When you think about it like that. All the science on Novice has been done. I could be wrong, of course, but... Ah, oh, shoot. I really want to get onto that train. Fine. Okay, so that one's going to go into manual control now. That one is also going to go into manual control, but for a different reason. Because I don't want it picking up all the light oil lubricant and water again. Uh, and honestly, this one could probably deliver resources a little bit faster than that. <sighs> Okay, let's go barrel pick, and let's just get the other barrels. Um, and then when we come back, we'll figure out how we're doing with the actual ship launch. Hey, Mighty Panda, thanks for joining. That was a weird way of saying thanks for joining, but that's okay. Uh, she's used to it. Okay, so that's supposed to be... What is that? Sulfuric acid? Sulfuric acid, petroleum, and heavy oil. Okay. We will, of course, fix this up for the next couple of launches, but for now, this is what we got. In fact, no. Let's be honest, this is wrong. We know it's wrong, and we should just fix it. We know it's wrong. Why do we let it live? Kill it now. Oh god, barrels. Oh god. Oh. Um. Okay, new plan. Maybe don't kill it just yet. Just... Just take what you can. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's okay. They just realized if we try to put everything in there now, it's just going to absolutely flood my inventory in a way that does not forgive anyone. Uh, is there a problem, sir? Can you just go? Thank you. That train will be coming back in a moment, and in the meantime, we can uh, fix this. 
Some would say it was already perfect and didn't need to be fixed. Those people are wrong. It was very broken and very needed to be fixed. Okay, so this one goes in like that. Nope, does not go into the solid fuel. Goodness gracious. Who's in charge here? I want to speak to their manager. I don't actually want to speak to their manager because I know who's in charge and I don't want to speak to my manager. It, my manager's me. <laughs> it's only going to be a weird and awkward conversation. No one wants or deserves that. Well, except maybe me, but you know, I have the one that just asked to speak to my own manager, so that's on me. Okay, look, go get some more barrels. We'll sort it out. Get mad. Ask to speak to life's manager. You know who I am? I'm the one that's going to burn your house down with the lemons. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. They should be connected to this. Yeah, I know. We've all got too many barrels. Uh, okay, it is coming back. Thank goodness. What did we run out of light oil? Really? Or did we just run out of barrels entirely? Well, we ran out of barrels. Okay. That's probably a problem. More barrels, please. So this is probably way more uh, barrels of anything that I really needed. That's okay. I'm sure my inventory is full. Okay. At this point, ironically, I actually don't think I need any more... <laughs> anything because this is so full of barrels of just everything we need we've got more barrels than i think we need right now as we were tidying that up so we'll chuck those barrels in there good and we will also chuck the science that we somehow accidentally picked up in there Cool. Meanwhile, the rocket is at 78%. So what else do we need? So we've got the science sorted out. We've got the landing pad. We... Yeah. Okay. So that's not going anymore. That's not going anymore. That's fine. Those, that has got a lot of liquids that we don't need. Maybe some sulfuric acid would be good. But, actually, do we need sulfuric acid? Probably not. Uh, what is sulfuric acid going to give us while we're up there? Nothing much. I don't think we need sulfuric acid. Yeah, we don't need sulfuric acid right now. So, for now, we've got some sciences, and I'm going to grab, say... How many? Six stacks of blue, six ish stacks of red, six stacks of green. And screw it. Do we grab a stack of gray? Grab a stack of gray. Why not? And they can just go into the rocket now. Okay, cargo is 27 out of 500. I don't know if we're going to launch a full rocket. I'll rephrase that. We're not launching a full rocket. Uh, satellite telemetry, do we need that many units? Probably not. We'll do that many.
Uh, out of curiosity, where was that new planet that we found? Was it further down? It was. It's probably going to have some moons as well. Out of curiosity there. Okay, we've got our satellite telemetry. What else do we need for rocket science, by the way? Uh, vulcanite blocks. Empty barrels. Well, we're going to have empty barrels. Don't you bloody worry about that. Uh, solid rock fuel I've already chucked in there. Yep. Vulcanite blocks. Okay. Chemical gel we're making up in space with petroleum wa uh, gas and cosmic water, which we'll also be making in space because that's just lubed up water. I, I know. I know what I said. I wish I didn't say it, but it is what it is. Um... So we need to get some vulcanite blocks. Okay. Uh, we could increase productivity of the vulcanite. That might help. How much vulcanite blocks? Maybe a couple of stacks? I mean, I could just steal the vulcanite from the train. Because let's be honest, that train's probably got like... You don't need that many vulcanite blocks, train. I want the vulcanite blocks for myself. My train, I'm allowed to steal from it. I'm allowed to be a criminal if I'm stealing from myself. It's a rule. As much scaffolding as I can fit. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, scaffolding is uh, going to be a tricky one. Because it ne needs low densities. I am well aware that scaffolding is going to be a problem. <laughs> Uh, I've, I've got anxiety about launching into space. But you know what? If it makes me feel any better... That's a weird start to a phrase. If it makes me feel any better, I think a lot of people have anxiety about going into space. I mean, I've seen enough rockets exploding in space to know that space is not a hospitable place. Things don't go well in space. Sometimes. So, yeah, space anxieties are nothing new. Uh, I'm going to drop these combiners for now because I don't think I'm going to be using them right this moment. I will put these aside for now as well. I can upgrade them when I bloody well feel like it, but that's not now. Scaffolding we are building, uh, but I feel like the how much do we have is a number far lower than I wish to admit. Uh, there it is. I mean, given the fact that currently none is being built, I have... 1,200. It's not much. But it's... Not much. I do have this here that can make a few. But, I mean, that's going to be like 30 more. And again, 30 more is enough for, like, several buildings, so... Yeah, might be alright. Low density structures are the problem we've got right now, so why are we not building more of these? Uh, the problem is steel. And the problem for that is iron. How have we run out of iron? That's not even possible. Unless this got turned off ages ago and I never actually thought to turn it back on again. Okay, fine. Uh, this got slowed down a bit. I don't like that. I don't think that should ever be slowed down. And I think I know why it slowed down. Oh, yeah, that is that is sad times indeed. I could not agree more. I want that to be greater than or equal to three, so that way the coal always comes through and doesn't slow down anything else. I think the coal is slowing things down a bit. Okay. That's alright. Maybe we got a lot of vulcanite while we were faffing about. Look at that, we've got... Some vulcanite. Not a lot of vulcanite, but it's some. And sometimes some is better than none. I like how these all sort of turn on, like... One at a time as the iron just reaches them. That's kind of cute. I'm 
Okay, so that's going to be filled up with iron very soon, and therefore more steel will be coming. And that'll be good. So in the meantime, what else do we need? Uh, well, look, let's just put the scaffolding in there now, because... Well, there's no reason to leave it in a box, right? You know, if it's in there, it's definitely going into space. Get your ass to space scaffolding. Um, we want the vulcanite blocks in there as well. Let's go. Yeah, we do need. We need uh, to build space transport belts, which requires steel. Oh boy, steel is a problem. Okay, but let's grab. Let's just grab a few stacks of these. I don't think we need them right now, but you've got them. You have them. And we'll grab a stack, a uh, stack of stack inserters as well. Ah, uh, maybe a stack of filters as well. Just, there's no harm in taking extra stuff. So four stacks of those, four stacks of those, uh, one, st two stacks of those, and one stack of those. So we're currently at 59 out of 500. Thing is 50% full. Of course, we haven't got the liquids in here yet, and that could be interesting. That could be 164 stacks. Uh, but that's all. None of that is a full tank, except for, I guess, the light oil. If I do that, I mean, that's... Do I even need that much light oil in space? Hmm, not really, but I mean, if I have it there, then it's there, and I don't need to worry about it ever again. Okay. So here's the plan. We're going to start getting that stuff over there. If it's there, it's there, you know? We'll hold on to those stacks of light oil for now, and that will just fill this with a bunch of stuff mostly barrels that's okay that's uh what they pay it for that's what they pay us for getting stuff into space so what else do i really want well i want iron and steel and glass heat shielding solar panels i got solar panels that's fine circuitry okay well circuitry i'm gonna do how much circuitry like Oh, there's some iron there as well. Oh, hell yeah, I'll take that. Oh, sorry, not iron, steel. It's even better. How about five stacks of red circuits? That's a sizable chunk. But should be enough for now. Take the steel. Probably not enough steel. We'll probably work on steel. Uh, what else do we want? Some warehouses I think might be good, which ironically needs the steel that I just took. Uh, we are under attack. No, I'm not. You lied to me. Uh, a stack of storage tanks. I would also say a stack of space pipes, but, uh, meh. One stack of storage tanks should be enough. Space pipes. What do they require? Anything special? Uh, glass, st steel, everything needs steel. That's... Why am I always surprised by that? Uh, five stacks of copper? No, ten stacks of copper. I don't stack in two hundreds. Now everything seems to need plastic and glass, so we'll take uh, in a thousand glass as well. That's probably a good number. Well, that's actually a lot of glass right there. The first launch, as I said, is going to be mostly manual, but that's okay. The first launch is about learning how to get into space. It's like the Apollo 1 mission, you know? They were like, they were learning, they were figuring out how to get people into space, and they thought, let's just leave the people here. 
And that's why the Apollo 1 mission was so successful. Hang on a moment. Let me just check something. Uh, Apollo 1. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Accident. Bugs out test. Fire investigation. Cause of death. Okay, so the goal is better than Apollo 1. We want to do better than Apollo 1. That That's the goal we're going for today. Okay? Not dying on the space platform. I think we can achieve that. I can think we can achieve not dying on the space platform. Yikes. Could have gone with a better number of Apollo mission, like, I don't know, 13. Hang on a second, let me, I'm not doing that joke a second time. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, not burning on the, the ground is probably a aspirational goal. I actually couldn't remember if it was Apollo 1 that uh, caught fire on the ground. So that's actually what I was checking for. I, I needed to make sure that my really off-color joke was correct. And it was. Tragic stuff, actually. Let's, let's, it's probably bad to make a joke about those sorts of things. Pretty shitty. Like, but that's what, space travel is dangerous. You know? And sometimes that happens. Especially in the early days of anything. I mean, what, you think air, air travel wasn't dangerous to start with? Of course it was. A lot of people died there, too. But because of those pioneers that uh, died, gives us uh, free peanuts in the air. So when you open up a pack of peanuts, thank those people that died in terribly made planes. Okay. Also, thank the hostess for bringing you, or the host, of course, for bringing you the peanuts, because peanuts are tasty. <laughs> Unless you don't like peanuts, in which case, thank them politely, but also say no. Okay, so we don't really need concrete. We're going to need a lot more steel, we know that, but to be fair, we also need a lot more... Uh, I got rocket sections. We also do need to build the space capsule at some point today. Uh, what have we not put in there? I don't think we put iron on there yet, have we? Uh, no, we have not. Okay, well, iron is another requirement. Now, the fun thing about iron is it's the best material. Like, some people say it's copper or steel. I think it's iron. Because who makes a copper weapon? Nobody. Nobody's ever made a copper weapon. Why? Because copper weapons are silly. We also do want some heat shielding. I'm again doing a bit. I do. I am aware of copper weapons. Just not recently. I mean, I'm sure someone's still making copper weapons. There's always some guy that's just making the craziest shit. Okay. If I put the glass in there, why not? Do we have plastics? I don't feel like we've got much plastics in here yet. We don't. Okay. Uh, how much plastics? Well, probably some. Again, we're probably not going to have everything we need on this launch, but that's okay. This isn't that launch. That's the second or third launch where everything is like, Oh, we came up with this? Oh, what do you know? That's exactly what we needed. But that's not that launch. That's not this launch at all. This launch is just about getting into space. Uh, do we want small electric motors? I feel like small electric motors is probably a fantastic idea of things to take up. Given the fact that how much I never have enough of them. Like, I always complain about, Oh, I don't have enough small electric motors. Ha ha ha, why did I not think about that? Oh, I said I'd never need them. Uh, anyway... Do I need to build another rocket in space to get back? No. I'm, well, I'm pretty sure the answer is no. I am able to take the capsule back. So one of the things you need is the space capsule. 
and you take that back. Uh, it'll take you back to the nearest planet. So if you, for instance, my understanding from what I've read, if I am in novice space and I take the capsule, it'll take me back to novice. If I'm like the asteroid belt, it'll take me to the next down planet. I think the moons will keep you stuck in the moon. I might be wrong on that one. I haven't done the science. But, yeah. It, so I don't need to build another rocket in space because, quite frankly, there's just not the resources uh, where I'm going. There will be a time, of course, where I will be building rockets uh, not in space. Well, maybe. Probably not in space, but certainly... Do I need stone bricks? I don't know. There'll be a time where I'm going to have the stuff to build rockets in space, but I don't know whether it's actually really a thing that I'll be doing there. Uh, no, there's no reason for stone bricks. Uh, but by then I probably won't be building rockets. I'll probably just be shooting the resources uh, via a mag rail. Which is, by the way, now that I've said it aloud, heckin' cool. Okay, we don't need stone bricks. Because, you know, if you're firing things with mag rails, you're having a good time. I mean, they're called mag rails. I think they're actually called delivery cannons. I don't think they're mag rails, but they take explosives. And so why wouldn't they be mag rails? Uh, batteries, you know what? Can never go wrong with batteries. So the rocket is over half full now, which is very exciting. We've got inserters. I don't even know what's in here anymore. Uh, and while we're here, actually, I want to start something. This is an important thing to start. I don't know if it's important now, but I do need to start it, which is... I want to start saving some of the steam. There you go, why do you want to save steam? Because one day, the sun is going to try and kill me, and I want to be prepared for that day. Now, you could say, well, that's just Seif being crazy again. Nope, that is Seif knowing what's going to happen. <laughs> that is Seif very afraid of the sun attempting to murder me. Um, in context, uh, at some point there will be a coronal uh, energy blast. Not called an energy blast, but I'm going to call it an energy blast. The sun's just going to send a bunch of energy at me and if I do not have the energy to repel it I am gonna lose probably 90% of my base I've heard uh, Tower I say before at least that's how much they lost and I don't want to be in that situation so this each one of these will store about two gigawatts of energy or gigajoules of energy so 2 4 6 8 16 24 32 that's only 40 gigajoules of energy at this point I notice how I change the numbers as I'm like... Uh, I will, of course, need the turbines to go with it. But... Yeah. Uh, now, I probably want to stack of pumps now that I'm thinking about it. Because got to get the fluids around. Uh, thankfully, I build pumps. They're right here. Probably don't need too many of those. But it's always good to have some pumps ready. So probably just one stack of them will do the job. Uh... Copper. I mean, copper's fine. Though. I've got copper plates. I think. Yeah, i got copper plates. Steel is probably something I need more of. Copper plates probably wouldn't go amiss. Iron, probably not amiss. Really, I just need a ton more low densities. And the best way to make more low densities, actually, if I really think about it, is probably... And I'm going to do this in a shitty way. I'm going to handcraft these. I know. I'm pretty disappointed with myself, too. But if I can craft some of these bad boys... Then it should put me in a better place. I can probably make more low densities. Because right now they're not all running. So more productivity would ensure more stuff, in theory. So we're handcrafting those. Is that disgusting? Yeah, it is. 
And am I ashamed? Yes, I am ashamed. Why don't you just produce them normally like a real boy? Because... Shut up. <laughs> uh, we've got a lot of these flying robot engines. That's probably fine. Uh, so really what I just need now is just more steel to be coming through, and... While it's doing its best... Best kind of just ain't good enough. But that's why we want more Vulcanite. Of course, the other option is we could do more productivity modules on these, and so that way... Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh, we're going to need more beacons, of course. But beacons are easy, especially when you have small electric motors, which, of course... I'm not going to keep making that same joke. Yes, I know, I need them a lot. <laughs> it's not even a joke now. Now it's just the truth that I keep saying. Get out of here, scum. Could we build space transport belts? See, no reason why not. I mean, just small electric motors, copper plates, steel plates is the problem, as usual. Um, I mean, at the moment, I'm almost counting on building those on the land, which, not on the land, in space when I need them. The good news is, let's just look at the orbit real quick. So there is a little space station here, and that will have 200 belts and some undergroundy boys, and it's not much actually, it doesn't contain much at all that I will need. But it'll contain the stuff to get me started, and that'll have to do. Ugh. I mean, it contains some good stuff up here. Oh wow, it actually can... There's a launching pad up here already? And a... Oh damn, yeah, no, I don't need another... I don't need to build another landing pad here. There's one there already. Heck yeah. And a bunch of fluids. Heck yeah! Okay, well, things just got a bit easier for me for a change. Pretty happy about that. Very rare that everything comes up, Seif. Especially with the amount of planning that I put through, because I put through so much planning. Yeah, he puts through no planning. He just hopes everything will turn out in the end. And then sometimes it does, and he doesn't deserve that. I like how it's just the inner monologue of my head is, I don't deserve good things. Pretty sad. <laughs> My inner monologue needs to be nicer to myself. I have been told that before. <laughs> By a literal psychologist. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, when I get more Vulcanite through, though, I'm, I'm just going to start launching it here as fast as I can. I think that's going to be real fun. I am going to have to build a rocket in that area. Um, that's going to be interesting. Actually, real quick, low densities, because low densities are a pain. Can low densities be fired into space? They can. Rad. That's what I like to know. So when we do have low densities, we should be able to fire them into another planet so we can, you know, stop marooning ourselves. <laughs> that's that's a nice thing. That, it's nice to be prepared to not be completely marooned forever. You know, you gotta be gotta be happy about that. Okay. Let's tear all this down. That way, hopefully, we make a little bit more steel. Of course, the alternative is... Do it like this. 
and just really honk out some steel. Which is a classic phrase. Honking out steel. Just everyone says it. Uh, oh. Ooh. No, the meat heels were shot down that time. That's exciting and terrifying. We got lucky, thankfully. Uh, how are we going for power out of curiosity? We are going okay. Okay, so the plan here is something that looks a little like this. Uh, I think that, oh, no, that's fine. What is it? Actually, no, these ones did three each, and that does three. Okay, so what you'd actually be better off doing is just finishing that row. That'd be a better idea. So that way, everything's got beacons, everything's happy. Happy little beacons. What you need in life. Uh, and actually, this is the ingoing, isn't it? The incoming, if you will. Uh, and of course, I will need to go get some prod twos. And while I'm delivering the, getting the prod two, wait, really prod twos or prod ones? Wait, these aren't using prod 1s? Ugh, that's wrong. Those should be using prod 2s. Anyway, uh, I want to deliver the prod 3s here. That way, at the very least, we can try and make a few more a little bit more effectively. Okay, our rock control units are going more or less okay. We should have tons of prod 2s, a bunch of speed 2s as well, and we will get to those. Probably when I return from space, I'll do some module work. Um, and just get the modules back up to speed. Right now, it's not great. Okay, prod twos. And, what? Well, you don't want efficiency modules? Or are they supposed to be efficiency twos? Are they supposed to be efficiency twos? Uh, they are. Well, we don't have efficiency twos. So, live with it. Oh, I see. And it's trying to do the wrong recipe. That's probably one of the problems. Okay, and from there we actually want it to go the other way. Thank you very much. Oh gosh, no. It's all going wrong. Beep boop. I am computer. I don't know why I am computer. I panicked and just said beep boop. For literally no reason. That one doesn't even have an inserter. How is that going to get any work done, honestly? Okay, so hopefully that produces steel in a way that is a little more conductive to the base. Now I don't know if there's any way to make steel better with vulcanite. I think the most of those efficiencies come with making iron. That's alright. So, and if any of you guys don't actually have your Signals, we'll get those for you as well. It appears we're under attack, but that's fine. I'm not too fussed by that. Ooh, actually, now that I'm looking at that wall, we might be a little bit fussed with that. Uh, yeah, guys, let's uh, just go reinforce that wall, because that does seem to look at the point of near breakage. So 
this is the only wall that is currently the only outpost that is currently outside of the defensive structures that I've built. Uh, they're very useful. They're very big defensive structures, but this one is outside it, and mostly that's fine. It does hold for a long time, but it does mean every now and then it does need to get repaired and fixed up. Uh, I anticipate after an hour of being away, it may collapse entirely. And if that's the case, then so be it. It's just going to happen and I'm just going to have to live with that. Put a few more lasers out because if there's one thing fighters hate, it's lasers. I mean, they hate flamethrowers more, let's be honest. But, you know, in this economy, we don't have flamethrowers. So... You know, you do what you can. There's no sense of crying when you make a neat. Wait. You just keep on trying till you run out of cake. That's where we're going. Okay, cool. Still alive. Uh, <laughs> uh, we don't need cliff explosives wherever we're going, so that's cool. Vulcanite got uploaded, uploaded, unloaded fairly recently. We could possibly put some productivity modules in there and that might help this actually make more stuff when it gets around to it. Uh, anything that makes two of something is usually better, but on that logic, you'd rather do it this way. This is going to cost me a lot of power, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes. But, generally, things are okay. Uh, we may need to expand out some mines in, in the future. Stone looks like it's still going fairly strong, so I'm not too worried by that. Copper. Where's that copper mine? Oh, that's the one I was literally just looking at. That's going fine. The only thing that might need to happen is another train. Uh, I don't think it's a bad idea because I did just see copper stop entirely for a while and that's super concerning. Uh, so they're called locomotives in this game, not trains get it right but they do stop at a train stop so you know just to make things a little bit more fun <laughs> uh we've got a stack of robot ports will a stack of robot ports help you know it'd be great just multiple stacks of electric uh electric poles those would actually probably be good uh oh they gotten smarter did they Cut through the only power pole that was up there. Locomotive is what drives the train. Oh, I see the logic there. The train is the entire thing. See, I always thought the train was the unit, but the train is like, you know, the whole... Okay, sure. Anyway, we're under attack because they attack from a side that we've never protected. Uh, and... They're very sneaky about it. I respect your murders, sir. Okay, so we're going to make sure that doesn't happen in a couple of way, different ways. One, we're going to make sure that power connects in a second point. So that's probably step one of making sure that never happens again. Step two, clearly walls are needed here too. Oh, hello. Welcome to my base, you jerk. I actually did a lot of damage there. Turns out, if the aliens are smart and knock out the power, uh, they can absolutely wreck you. I hate it when the aliens are smarter than me. Uh, we could go hunting for them a little bit. And I think after what they've done, I think some retribution is required. 
Unless, of course, this all goes wrong and I die here, which could happen. That alien's just attacking a rock in frustration. Well, that biter just really hated that rock. I don't, I don't know what his deal was. Uh, okay. Oh dear. Are they faster now? I don't know. They feel faster. Maybe I'm just slower. The real danger is their bases, so let's just destroy those. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice try, buddy, buddy. I gave it a go, though. I respect that. So, anyway, they damaged my base. I killed two of theirs. I think that's retribution. I would like it if they focus down here, but of course you can't make that happen. Maybe you can, I don't know. Uh, I may have lost my drones again. I did. That does explain why my drones weren't doing any work. Hey guys, what you got? Oh, you're, you're pulling apart things with guns again. Why? I know I probably told you to, but why? Uh, okay, now, we wanted electric poles for the Great Space Expedition. How many? Oh, jeez, I don't know, like, lots? And admittedly, some of those will be able to be made in space if we needed to. But I would rather be able to actually just transport them up there. The good news is we don't need lasers up there. There ain't no biters in space. You know, except for the place where there are biters in space, but we're not talking about that part, part right now. Uh, batteries seem to be on a much healthier supply. It's good. Uh, do we take coal? You know, I think we take a little bit of coal. Just a little bit. Oh, actually, coal is being problematic. What happened to my coal mine? Oh, it's uh, it's very quiet. And I just remembered I was going to build a new copper train. Which... It's probably doable at some point. Okay, so what we do need right now is coal, because coal is what makes plastic. Good news is it's actually pretty easy to get a coal train in and sorted. Uh, I did collect my bots, didn't I? Or did they go off somewhere on a wild gallivanting trip again? Bastards. They never invite me to their wild galvanting trips. They're just like, no, 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 it's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'd love to come on a wild galvanting trip. They're like, oh, you, you wouldn't have liked it. Nah, nah, he wouldn't have liked it, right, guys? Nah, 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 he wouldn't have liked it. He wouldn't have liked it at all. I'm like, well, what was it about? What were you going, guys doing? Oh, you know, laser tag? I love laser tag. Nah, you hate it. You know? That's how the bots treat me. Probably my fault. I do make them work. Okay. So. Now that we're not having an existential crisis. Ah! About bots again. And almost getting hit by a train. Okay. Train stop. Train. You two carriages of coal. You know what? You can never have too many carriages of coal. One thing I know, coal is good. Coal is beneficial for the environment. I know that. Especially clean coal, which you've cleaned. Uh, okay, so how many of these do I need? Well, each one of these has only 40, so if we... Wait, no, 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 stop. Ooh, just got it in time. 
a bit of concrete, a bit of steel, and then I can build two storehouses, and that'll probably be enough. We will, of course, need another train stop. What is the point of that? I think a f there was a few things that used to be the point here, and they don't exist anymore. Oh wow, there is still the tiniest amount of stone there. Well, deal with it. <laughs> Why not? Okay, focus. Eel is coming through, hopefully. Oh, you know, we've got these two old warehouses that I'm just not even using. They're probably too big, actually. Good to have them, though. You know, I think I needed warehouses anyway, so... Good thing to have. And while I'm here... Probably some things that can be thrown away. Like old gun turrets and old walls. Okay, steel. That's all good stuff. Okay, so... We needed another storehouse. With two storehouses, we should be able to uh, get some real work done. Actually, probably going to need another couple of storehouses later, but that's alright. Worry about that another day. Even done with a smaller one because there's really not enough room for anything else. Although that's gonna probably run out of coal first, and that'll be fine. Don't worry about it. The point is, we're gonna have coal. Also, the other point is, we probably need to fuel the train, and why not fuel it with the same substance that we're digging? Fuel yourself, train. So that's going to be called Coal Pick. I don't need to tell anyone that. It's, honestly, you don't get a more easy name in the world. Uh, my bots are missing. They will find their way eventually. But until that day, I will have to work without them. Now, there's no easy place for that train to turn around right now. So that might just be how it lives for the moment. Hey guys, did you pick up a bunch of ammo again? Of course you did. I know what's happening as well. It's the old wall that I fly past every time. And I told them to pull it down because we don't need that wall anymore. Yeah. Uh, okay, so then we need to actually deliver coal somewhere. And honestly... Uh, he has a good place as any, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to grab some more jetpack fuel, because why the heck and not? I'm a little bit worried about the amount of iron we're running out of, but that's okay. When we get more uh, planets, we should be fine. Hopefully. Uh, now, why was I over here? Well, I was over here because I went way too far. Also, I need more train tracks. So, you know, we've all made mistakes today.
but with more train tracks we should have uh, something happening. Train tracks are up north, I knew that. How are we doing for rocketry? Because I cannot sit on a single subject for longer than a couple of seconds, clearly. Uh, we've got 40 more scaffolding. Might as well put that in there. We are not there yet. We are at 89%, which means we're not doing the rocket today, I think. On the basis that I think I'm almost done for the night. Ah. So we'll get this uh, coal station set up. So I want to do a couple of things actually. First off, I like this. This is fine. But what tends to happen as well is if a train doesn't want to be here, for instance, or rather it wants to leave via not the iron. It has to go through the iron no matter what, which is pretty poor design, honestly. Oh, those are rocks? Okay. Oh, those are cliffs. That's pretty poor design. The only way they can leave is through this uh, mine, so let's change that design right here, right now. A uh, very clean design, that one. Uh, very nice straight tracks. Very proud of that. Of course, that was sarcasm. It was not clean at all, but that's all right. Okay, and we'll put a line here as well. There we go. Perfect. Good enough, rather. We do not have the electric circuits to build a train track, a uh, train stop. It's all right, they're pretty close by. Uh, where's all the copper? Okay, it looks like I've jammed a train due to insufficient signaling once more. Okay, so I'll fix that. I'll get the coal going and then that will be me for the day. I think that's a... Cannot insert grenade. I didn't want to insert grenade, so good. Uh... Okay. So, yep, insufficient signaling there. Okay, so we're at the train stop. We need a storehouse, which is like a hundred steel. And actually, if I could build another train carriage, it'd be good because I don't like the fact that copper seems to keep sort of stopping and starting. How much steel do I need? Actually, more like 200, honestly. I don't insert steel plate. Well, do it. Regardless, I don't care. It is trying, but the lack of vulcanite is really what's harming us. We'll get there, though. Because also, once we get coal sorted out, that gets plastic back into the situation. Then Max puts uh, steel back on the shit train. The shit train being not an actual train, obviously. The shit train being the resource that I talk shit about. <laughs> right now, of course, it's copper, but, you know, not supposed to be. Not really supposed to be any resource, honestly, but hey, here we are. Uh, storehouse, storehouse. 
Chirp. Chirp. Uh, we'll do it like that and like that. And that should, once I get the names done, call drop. Good, and then set that train up to be full cargo and then add station to call drop to empty cargo. Let's go. We, <laughs> we need to have that train turn around better. That's pretty rubbish. What do you guys got for me? Some coal? Oh, how lovely. Thank you so much for trying. Oh god, they've got all the coal. It's like, oh wow, thanks for one coal. Would you like all the coal? No, not really. Discovered a new moon, Najord. Najord, is it a good planet? Is it a good moon? Uh, Holmanite? No threat. Uh, nothing else aside from Holmanite, but Holmanite is required, so... Let's have a look. It is a purple planet. I like purple planets. Yeah, I could work with this. I could do something with that planet. Okay, last thing we're going to do before we call it quits for the night is we're going to have it so the coal train can turn around. Uh, it is real dark because there's no lights around here. The more lights would always be good. Do I want to take a stack of lights into space? Don't know if that's required. It is perpetually twilight, so I guess it's not midnight. Uh, probably fine, honestly. Okay, so the plan here is we're going to get rid of this, and we're going to make it do a cool spin like that. So that way we've got a way of the train turning around when it inevitably needs to. Because there's no way a train's going to ever go that way. It just doesn't need to. Uh, that wall should be well built. It is. And that gives the train a good space to turn around should it be required on the side. Uh, I would love to have a similar thing down here somewhere, but... I don't really know where we'd do that, because we actually do have a intersection which is going four ways. I suppose it could turn around there. I suppose whichever way it goes, it's got a turning around point. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, well you know what, we are done for today, so thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed today and you're not currently giving, a, uh, not currently following, please give a follow, I'd really appreciate it, and I would appreciate uh, your thought about joining me once again while playing Factorio. Uh, if you would like to, you can also find old episodes and this episode on youtube.com slash cat. This is where I post all the episodes after they are aired. Uh, it's typically within 24 hours of the episode up, so if you have to walk away or you miss a bit and you go, ah, damn, I really want to see what happened in, like a couple of hours ago, how did this all happen? You can do that. It's all available. Uh, I don't need this much rocket fuel. Eh. Let it happen. Uh, what else? You can also, I also have a Discord channel where you can uh, discuss the episodes and talk with me if you need to... Uh, you know, ask me anything outside of the channel, like when I'm not streaming, uh, or just discuss Factorio in general. That's fine too, whatever you want. And also, if you wish, you can also subscribe or tip me. You certainly do not have to, but you can. And I always just like to let you know that that's an option available to you if you so want to. Certainly no one should feel like they have to, but you know, it's appreciated. And it, uh, you know, it's appreciated. Gives me some money to do some extra stuff for the stream. Get some new art or maybe something like that. And with that, I am done. So thank you very much again for watching. And I will see you probably Saturday. Because I won't be streaming tomorrow. Definitely won't be streaming tomorrow.
I'll see you Saturday. Take care, everyone.